Hey what's going on guys, ModBot here, and a few months ago I made a tutorial on how to install Skynet on your NetA8, and uh, the video did pretty well, and I've gotten quite a lot of feedback and interest in it. Well, um, this is going to be an update video to that previous video that I made. Uh, I recently went ahead and tried finding my Skynet firmware that I'd configured for my NetA8 to get the auto bed leveling set up correctly, as well as getting the printer to print in the middle of the bed and I found out that I had deleted it or misplaced it, one or the other. And um, I had some issues with getting the latest version of Skynet set up, and I noticed that in my first tutorial, the version I had installed was a beta version, um, which was brought to my attention. So um, this video is just gonna be a quick little update on the um, version I recommend installing and how to do so hopefully as easily as possible. So let's get into it So links will be in the description that will allow you to download this and in the files you get there will be an Arduino folder and this Arduino.exe is the version you want to use not the one that you download from Arduino's website The reason why is because this one has already been configured for the Annet 1.0 as you can see here under the board info um, It's a lot easier to have it pre-configured than to try to set it up yourself um, then if you go under the Skynet folder that is in there, there's going to be a skynet.ino uh, file, which is the file you're going to open up with that Arduino that you just opened. Uh, before doing that though, scroll to the very top under the configuration profiles. This is very nice. There's one for the Annet A2, 6, and 8. Um, for me, obviously, I'm going to use the Annet A8. And you want to choose the one closest to what you have. So mine's the A8 with the standard five button display with auto level on the left side. So um, depending on what you have, you'll choose the one that is closest to your profile or you know your printer setup. And so again, I choose the one on the left side. And if you open that, it'll have a few things inside. I have the 12 millimeter sensor. And there I've got the configuration H file as well as the uh, STL file. Um, for the, I guess, bracket that holds the sensor. Um, so all I do is copy the configuration H file and paste it under the main Skynet uh, like directory where the INO file is at, and, and then go under Arduino and open up the .ino file that should be under the Skynet folder. Once you do that, it'll open up all of the different files that are contained within that folder so that way you can work with them inside of the Arduino software. Now, the only thing I really had to configure was uh, if you go into the configuration.h tab and you scroll down, the part that has the auto bed level sensor, I had to work with that a little bit um, because I didn't use the file that they had provided. I used one that I found on Thingiverse. I do set the X offset to negative 29. The Y was fine at zero. And the Z offset took a while. Now this is the distance from when the probe is censored to where the nozzle tip is actually at. And so unless you know the exact coordinates, you kind of have to guess. And so what I did was I put like negative one, then I would flash it over hit print and if it wasn't close enough I would change the number by like negative 1.1 until I found the number that let the sensor um, offset be as correct as possible. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I can kind of go into that in more detail I guess in a completely separate video. The only other thing I had to change was the min and max position for the A8. 220 was fine because that is the max build height but for the min it wasn't set up correctly, the numbers were too large, so I had to uh, change that up a little bit. And all these files are gonna be over on 3D Print Love on this page, revisiting the uh, Skynet uh, for NET A8 3D printers, or for NET 3D printers. It'll have all the files and any additional information I think is necessary. Feel free to ask questions on there too, and I'll try to answer them. Then all you would do is go under the board version NET uh, 1.0, choose your port, that is the one you have your printer plugged into, and click upload and it will flash the code over and that is all you would do. Um, again, you can pretty much follow the tutorial, the first one that I made. Um, I just, the files, if you want to install a version that's not an alpha version, then use the files that are in this video, but everything else is gonna be the same. The end of this video is just some random shots of my uh, Bowden setup on the NA8. I have one or two people that I had promised I would take some clips of just how it's working and it just uses the stock extruder mounted on the very top and you basically screw in the Bowden fitting right into the stock extruder. It 
fits there's threads so it's really simple and then the magic is really the X carriage setup that uh, I installed the de designers just did an incredible job so hopefully this will help you guys out with at least a little bit of pictures and footage and different angles on it but uh, yeah if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smack the like button and help share this video as always guys thank you so much we are so close to 20k I cannot freaking wait and believe it uh, I will see you guys in the next video once again this has been Daniel from Modbot and I am out peace guys